Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 15 of Romans chapter 7. For I do not understand what I am doing. For I am not practicing what I want to do, but I do the very thing I hate. However, if I do the very thing I do not want to do, I agree with the law that the law is good. But now no longer am I the one doing it, but sin that dwells in me. For I know that good does not dwell in me, that is, in my flesh. For the willing is present in me, but the doing of the good is not. For the good that I want, I do not do, but I practice the very evil that I do not want. But if I do the very thing I do not want, I am no longer the one doing it, but sin that dwells in me. I find then the principle that evil is present in me, the one who wants to do good. For I joyfully agree with the law of God in the inner person, but I see a different law in the parts of my body, waging war against the law of my mind, and making me a prisoner of the law of sin, the law which is in my body's parts. Wretched man that I am, who will set me free from the body of this death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, on the one hand, I myself, with my mind, am serving the law of God, but on the other, with my flesh, the law of sin. Therefore, there is now no condemnation at all for those who are in Christ Jesus. We can all relate to Paul's dilemma in today's passage. These verses describe the internal struggle we have with sin even after salvation. When those of us who are believers give in to temptation, we're often plagued by feelings of condemnation and may wonder if God has abandoned us. That's why Romans 8 verse 1 is such a comforting verse. Therefore, there is now no condemnation at all for those who are in Christ Jesus. The Savior went to the cross on our behalf, and His sacrifice made it possible for the guilt and penalty for sin to be lifted from our shoulders. Once we receive His gift of forgiveness, we're declared righteous. Our sins are wiped clean, and we are adopted by God and experience His love. Condemnation is reserved for those who reject the Lord, not for those who have been reconciled to God by the Savior. If you experience feelings of reproach, they're not from the Lord, but from the devil who accuses us. To realign our thinking with the Heavenly Fathers, we need to fill our mind with the truth of Scripture and remember that He never condemns those who belong to Him. Satan whispers lies, but God's Word always speaks truth. So rely on it and thank the Lord for loving you and saving you. <music> 